face, Teresa at the Paradox Parlor here in Manteca, California, with an update, or rather a way of holding you accountable to your own goals. What are you trying to achieve this time of year? Maybe you're trying to keep your business from going under in the next 30 to 55 days. Maybe you would love to start a business, but you're really kind of scared because of the current situation at hand with the health crisis, coronavirus, politics, who knows, whatever it is, lack of money, lack of knowledge, you're nervous. So I want to help you. I want to give you free tips to help you get yourself organized and really take control of your life. And actually, maybe even to make some money in the next 30 to 55 days, pay some bills, I don't know, get some extra money to have on the side, start a savings, who knows what your goals are? I don't know, but if you share them with me, I will know. So I'm gonna challenge you to keep up with me and my goals and text me on the comments below or above or wherever you see the form where you can make a comment. Let me know what you're doing. For instance, today, um, I think I was on Instagram at boomingbusinessgoals.club and I was asking people to tell me what's the one thing that you need to do in your business today to try and make some money. What is that one thing? So I thought for myself, what is that one thing that I need to do to live by example? So I decided to reevaluate my inventory right here. What do I have available that I could actually sell? And so for someone like you, what do you have in your hand right now that you can sell? Something that is new, something that you have made, created, and what can you actually put on the internet and sell, okay? So I took photos of everything that I felt I had the, the quality and the construction of something that I made, like the skirt, for example, I made yesterday, and so I took lots of photos in my skirt, and I also took other photos with other garments that I've made, and I took photos of cement, art that I have made. I've taken photos of other things that are not even finished yet. They're, they're almost finished scarves and wraps and things that I feel like they still look really good for photos and people can see that the construction is almost done and pre-ordered. So what do you have in your business that's similar? Something, a prototype that's almost done that people can pre-order because they already see that the process has started. Okay? If it's not something that's real yet and it's more like a, a dream, okay, you're going to need to let people know that they are pre-ordering on the dream and that, you know, you're going to have to be really careful about how you do that because there's laws for, for taking money when there's no product yet. So just kind of, you know, ask questions about that, research it more, but there are ways that you can get into that as well to show people um, that if they help fund you, like a Kickstarter, right, that they can expect that this would be what will be delivered to them, right? So those are all things that you wanna look at. Um, I even took into uh, some games and challenges that I'm going to put onto my social media accounts to encourage people from going from one account to another, almost like a scavenger hunt, okay? So if you wanna learn how to, how to do something like that for your own business or to grow your own following, message me and say, I want to get more serious with running my business, right? Because that's what I said to myself, I said, I want to get more serious running my business and I made it, I mean, look at what's all behind me. These are all, um, these aren't in all of my notes, but these is, this is what it looks like when I start studying and planning and structuring my business and the games and the challenges, social media, how am I going to implement flash sales? These are all great things that you can do. You have the ability, you just need to understand what's the structure, how's this gonna flow and who is your ideal client, how are you gonna sell and talk to them so that you feel comfortable and they're comfortable. Well, this is all stuff that I wanna help you with at boomingbusinessgoals.club. So go to the free sweepstakes at www.boomingbusinessgoals.club. Looks like I'm spanking something, but go there and sign up for the sweepstakes, answer the quick survey, and then you're going to probably get some kind of um, like discount offer at the thank you page if you wanted to buy something from an e-boutique. If you get there before I've updated it, just know that there's a lot of changes coming. <clears throat> Particularly, um, one thing I want to share with you, spoiler alert, a lot of the stuff on my e-boutique listed right now is coming down. 
out of there because the drop shipping research that I've done when I finally got my product samples from these overseas suppliers, quality was terrible. Quality is awful. And I'm like, I can't sell this to anybody. So the nice thing is that it gives me these ideas and I can update you, someone who might be interested in starting their own drop shipping store online and what are you going to come up against and what are you going to see? And it's really hilarious when I get to share with you some of the stuff that comes in because it's like a Halloween costume, some of these clothes, and they're not supposed to be Halloween costumes. They're supposed to be like legit women's clothing and it's terrible quality. And for someone like myself who sews, remember I made my dress yesterday, not dress, my skirt, in just under three hours uh, with no pattern. So, and, I, and I'm an OCD nut, like I have to have fine details. So I am looking at these quali the quality of these things that are coming from overseas, from China, and I'm just like, wow, this will make a great um, comparison for someone like you who needs to see it and needs to understand where these differences come because whether you're ordering technology or fashion or homeware or house goods from overseas, quality is definitely an issue and you're going to need to understand it. So in regards to your own business, how do you manage your quality? How do you structure the quality and ensure that the integrity and consistency is always there? If you come with me at boomingbusinessgoals.club, I will make sure to help you hold yourself accountable for structure, organization, consistency, branding, all that fun stuff. So go to boomingbusinessgoals.club and get started right now for free.